President Xi is not only touring the factory in Everett, Washington, Boeing's factory, he's actually just been on the plane and just gotten off. He's expected to speak there soon, and there are high hopes for some actual business to take place. During previous visits by former President Hu Jintao, plane purchases seem to always happen there. 60 planes in 2006. Actually, I think he's still on the plane right now. But their business has happened in the past in 200 planes in 2011. Boeing was responsible for manufacturing more than half of China's commercial jetliners. It's also been widely reported that Boeing and the Chinese government are working on a deal for Boeing to open a 737 jet completion and delivery center in China. Now, this is an interesting scenario because China does have to consider its own domestic manufacturer, too, which has been building a single-aisle jet, single jet, the C919, which will go head-to-head -head against Boeing's 737. So we'll continue to follow those developments. Now, she has had a very busy schedule. Last night, he gave his only major policy speech of the trip before a banquet of 750 guests, including U.S. Commerce Secretary Penny Pritzker and former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. Bill and Melinda Gates were also present at the event. Now, President Xi Jinping did something very different from previous Chinese presidents. He actually cracked some jokes and even showed off his knowledge of American culture, joking that everybody knew Seattle from the movie Sleepless in Seattle. He responded to his crackdown on corruption by insisting that it was aimed squarely at stamping out graft and that it was not a house of cards, unlike the popular American TV show starring Kevin Spacey, where everything is motivated based on gaining political power. She also hit on cybersecurity, telling the room that China is ready to set up a high-level joint dialogue mechanism with the United States to fight cyber crimes. Finally, President Xi spoke about the importance of friendship between the two countries, especially among the next generation. The Chinese character Ren is in the shape of two strokes supporting each other. The foundation of the China-U.S. friendship has its roots in the people, and its future rests with the youth. I'm glad to announce here that China supports the two countries to send 50,000 students each to study in the other in the next three years. China and the United States will hold a year of tourism in 2016, and China will provide more convenience for the friendly exchanges between the peoples of the two countries. President Xi still has a tour of Microsoft's headquarters in Redmond, Redmond Washington, later today. And also, he's uh, already been at a roundtable held by the Paulson Institute where top executives were gathered. It was a mystery as to who was going to be at that event. Well, I have the guest list. Jeff Bezos of Amazon was attending, Warren Buffett, uh, John Chambers from Cisco, uh, Tim Cook from Apple, Robert Iger from the Walt Disney Company, and Satya Nadala from Microsoft, She's Jack Ma from Alibaba, and Yang Yunqing from Lenovo were also present. Back to you, Elaine. All right, CCTV's Mark New, live for us in Seattle.